Welcome everybody. Welcome to Homestead Heart. And today I'm going to give you a tour of our setup for processing our meat birds. Hopefully this will be a really simple video, um, quick video, but I just want to show you all how we're set up to process our meat birds and then we'll probably in another video share with you how we're doing our processing as well. So y'all stay tuned. Let me take you on the quick little tour. It's not nothing, you know, extravagant, but it's what we are working with. And so I'm going to show you all what we're doing. All right, y'all. So there's Mr. Homestead Hart. How y'all doing today? Man, a few words. So let's go ahead and get started. So first we have outside our brooder. We brought the brooder out here to the barn. We, we are separating the chickens be away from the actual processing station because we don't want them to be able to see exactly what's going on. You know, I just think that would be like a nightmare for them to actually see what is happening or what is about to happen. So we have them over here in the brooder so that they really can't see what's going on on the other side. So inside of the brooder, we're starting with 10 chickens at a time. And we have 10, he's trying to get out. We have 10 on the inside of the brooder. And as you can see, they are really nice sized birds now. Um, these birds are older than eight weeks. How old are they? About 11 weeks old? About 11. Yeah, and so we fed our meat birds the same way that we fed our regular hens, which is feeding them a certain amount every day. And yeah, they grew a little slower, but as you can see, they're really healthy. Um, their legs are not deformed. I mean, they can jump up. They like to get up and roost and everything, you know, so they are really, really healthy birds. Um, even though we are at 11 weeks with them, they're very healthy. So we have 10 inside of the brooder. 10 inside of the brooder and this is where we're going to be pulling the birds from and so we're going to be bringing the birds from the brooder over here let's walk over here we're going to follow mr homestead hart so put them right here yep turn them upside down and we're going to do the process right here and everything's going to come down into these buckets mm -hmm. we got wood chips in the bottom oh, yeah, of the right. bucket catch everything mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna do two at a time and then after that well actually before we move on I wanted to show you mr. Homestead Hart put this processing station together this is just some old scrap wood that he put up didn't it babe yeah put it up mm -hmm. thought and, about it you know and he um, put these boards up here and just kind of screwed the boards in this was some scrap wood that we had he screwed the boards in and um, put another board down here at the bottom and he just screwed the buckets in to the board at the bottom um, so that the the um, blood doesn't have a long way to go when it's dripping down out of the chicken and like he said we have wood chips in the bottom here two screws right here two screws mm-hmm and we even have a hole in the bottom of this bucket in case it rains or something then it just comes right out and when we clean it out it's easy to clean it out as well. We just take the screws out, clean it out, and put them back up here. And these are the restraining cones that we got right here. Um, we ordered them from Amazon.com. And um, so we got these two cones. It would be ideal to have um, between five and seven, but this is all we could afford for right now was these two. Right, Mr. Homestead Hart? Yes, that's all right. right. So, so we're working with whatever we can work with. We're doing it the best way we can, mm -hmm. and we're going to start off small, and then we're going to grow. That's right. All right, so we're coming on down to the end of this station, and look at what we have here. <laughs> All right, so we have our plucker right here. Yep, we have our plucker, and with this plucker, you saw the video that we did where Mr. Homestead Hart did a fantastic fantastic job putting this thing together this thing was not easy to put together and he did a fantastic job he was so patient with this process I know I couldn't have done it but he did a good job of doing this and the way that he has the drill up here he put two pieces of um, just scrap wood up here 
to kind of give some stability to us hanging the drill up. And he, what is that, babe? Plumber strap? Yeah, plumber strap. And he just put some plumber strap up here to hold the drill in place. And he just screwed the plumber strap down to the blocks of wood. And that is holding the drill up so that one person can pull the trigger and the other person can stand and hold the chicken while we do the plucking. Okay. All right, and we're moving on to the next part of this. Scalding. Mm -hmm. This is what we're gonna dip the birds into to break the feathers down and make them loose. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna take, take it from the scalder and we're gonna bring them over here. And then we're gonna uh, take the feathers, feathers off with with the drill. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> I got a, a step ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so we have our thermometer inside of the scalder here to kind of keep our temperature, keep us on track with what the temperature should be. Okay. All right. And we're moving on to this part right here. Now this table right here, this is the place that we're going to be doing all of the evisceration. As you can see, Mr. Homestead Hart has his gloves here for actually dumping the chicken in the hot water so we don't burn those precious hands that's right so we got the gloves here and we have two very sharp boning knives here one that we'll use for that station over there um, for taking care of that main artery and then the other one over here for actually opening up the skin of the chicken where we'll be doing evisceration and we have um, just painter's plastic over our tables because we wanted to really make sure that we kept everything, you know, as clean as possible so that we can clean up easy, right? Yes. We yes. wanted to do an easy cleanup. So, yeah, that's how this is set up. And over here, we're moving on. We have the chilling tank. Chill tank. Chill. This is where we're going to put ice into the uh, bucket. Along with some water, we're going to chill the birds before we put them in the freezer. That's right. How long do they stay in here? Until we finish. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Until we finish. So, so basically, this is the uh, last step before they go into the freezer, right? Yep. Okay. Well, the step before, because they're going to go in the refrigerator for 24 hours, and then they'll go in the freezer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, like he said, we're going to put ice in here. We already got water in here. I really scrubbed and sanitized this um tub right here and this is what we're going to use for our chill tank you can use coolers whatever you have um to hold your chickens you can use it um as long as you got plenty of ice plenty of water and just make sure it's clean and i also put vinegar in this water um anytime i cook chicken at home i like to put the chicken in the sink with some a little bit of vinegar in the water and that just kills any bacteria that may have been on the chicken so that's um we have i this is a pretty big tank so i think i put about two to three cups of vinegar in this water and that's going to really help to kill any bacteria before they actually go in our refrigerator and i think that is pretty much it we don't have a tent to be up under right now so we are up under this great big old oak tree <laughs> to keep us nice and cool so that's going to do it you all I just uh, wanted to sh give y'all a show of our simple little setup here for processing our chickens. Okay. All right, y'all. That's going to do it for the setup, showing you our little chicken processing station. Mr. Homestead and Hart and I, we got some work to do, so we are going to go ahead and get this show on the road. That's right. And we're going to bring you along with us as well. So that's going to do it. Anything else? Is it? This? No, that's it. That's it. All right, y'all. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we post to the channel. Y'all stay tuned. The following video is going to be about us processing our chickens. So, again, thank you all for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. Peace. We'll see you.